Okay guys, well I know it's windy today. It may hurt the sound a little bit, but I'm not at my house. I'm at my mamaw's house, but uh, listen, there's a cornfield right here and it's damn full of crows. So I brought my 22 and uh, I got a single crow call, a mouth call. Hopefully I can maybe knock one down out here in this field, but uh, you know what, that's what we're here to do. We're gonna try. Now, of course, a 22 long rifle can't shoot that far at all, but I do have this mouth call. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna sit down and then we'll blow it a little bit. Hopefully, I can get them to come right here close in the field, or maybe if I'm lucky, land up here in a few trees. Right there, some now, so. I'm gonna get down right here. Maybe I'll blend in with this wall since I'm wearing blue jeans and blue shirt, but uh, yeah, we're gonna load this gun and get up with it. Head, head cam. Here we go. I'm gonna start a little bit of calling. Well guys, I don't know how much you could see from that GoPro footage, but I sure had a whole lot come in. They're not, crows aren't stupid, you know. If they don't see another decoy or another crow, then they're not going to come in and land. So, you know, next week I might come back with a shotgun, maybe my Fox Pro and some decoys definitely. And, you know, go down to that jet field, call them in, and just start blasting them. Because I know there's crows here, no doubt about that. But, yeah. Guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Okay guys, now I'm in the woods, and I want to show y'all the new addition to the team. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Her name's Lucky. She's still a pup though. So she is just a pup, and there's only like... Uh, 13 days left of my squirrel season so no she probably won't be able to tree squirrels for me this year but next year I should have her trained up or still be training her to be a world class squirrel dog that's the plan but you never know Now, she is a feist. I'm pretty sure she's six months old. I may be off a little bit, but she is definitely still a puppy, and she's just now getting into it. Go find a squirrel. Go do it. So today, I'm basically just getting out here in the woods. She's never really been hunted before, so I'm just getting her out here in the woods, getting her used to it, letting her run around, see what it's like, and, you know, she's just looking around trying to find something that's a good start. You gotta start somewhere. You know, people's gotta start somewhere, and dogs do too, so here's where she's gonna start. Walking around in the woods sniffing and looking around. Okay, guys, well, I've used up all my time now. i got to head out to church, but uh, about a good little 30-minute session for Lucky. And, yes, her name's Lucky. Good little session for Lucky just to romp around and sniff the ground, I guess. She liked it, didn't you? Yeah. But, anyways, hopefully I can turn that thing into a squirrel machine, but it'll take time and it'll take effort. But, hey, we'll do it together, and I'll take y'all with me as I train it. If y'all train squirrel odds a lot, go in the comment section, comment something I can do at a young age to really help her, you know, get started that much better. So, if you're a pretty good squirrel dog trainer, go ahead and leave me a comment what I should do next. Here, here. Oh, don't want to go. Come on now. Let's go. Jump on up here. Well, maybe we can influence her. Here we go. Now she'll try to get up in the box. Come on now. Get the crackers. Get on up in here. You gotta jump. You gotta jump for it. Here you go. Good job. 
Good job. Come on, jump up in here. Jump up in here. There we go. Good job. Good job. Here's your cracker. Good job. Say goodbye.